Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Two new stories. First one is from Israel, where a clash between Eritreans is being reported. At least two were killed in this brawl in Eritrean uh, migrants. Community. This is not the first time that Eritreans have died in communal violence. In Israel. Secondly, Somalia, it seems that Ethiopia is activating groups in Somalia which are pro Ethiopia. Some people call them proxies, that these are Ethiopian proxies in Somalia. A meeting has been held on Ethiopia Somalia border, on Somalia side of the border. I have a clip for you. The clip shows traditional elders opposing the deployment of Egyptian troops in the act. Though so far no announcement that uh, Egyptian troops will be deployed to Somalia, Ethiopia border areas. Let's start with the first story which is from uh, Israel. Last year was the start of uh, Communal violence in Eritrean diaspora community in Israel. I think it was September last year when uh, pro Eritrean government diaspora community and Brigade Nahum, the members, clashed in Tel Aviv. Over 100 people were injured, including police officers, migrants. That was the start of deadly. Uh, violence between pro Eritrean government groups and opposition groups in Israel. Since then, I think uh, more than 10 people have been killed on both sides. After every few days, we hear about a clash between Eritrean migrants in Israel, and most of these clashes. Almost all of the clashes happened in Tel Aviv, Israel. Israeli government started legal proceedings to deport some of these Eritreans, but then war broke out between Israel and uh, Hamas, and that is why the Eritreans could not be deported. Now, it is being reported that in this latest incident of violence in Eritrean community, two Eritreans were killed. Five were injured. This brawl happened in Tel Aviv. Again, Tel Aviv. Police reported, police arrived at the spot. Both groups were armed with sticks, stones, clubs. No firearms reported. Police resorted to uh, aerial firing. It fired warning shots. It tried to control the situation, but damage had been done before the arrival of police. Five people were injured, uh, doctors uh, treating them, some emergency Healthcare providers arrived at the spot who seriously injured were transferred to a hospital where they are being treated. Police is investigating the matter. Arrests have been made. Uh, it's not new for those who know what has been happening in Israel for the last one year. Israeli government will have to be tough on migrants. They're killing each other. That's dangerous. That should not be allowed. And these Eritreans also will have to show some maturity. What are they doing? Which country will accept them if they kill each other, if uh, public brawls happen between Eritreans in these countries? No country would welcome Eritreans. Eritreans got asylum in Europe, in other parts of the world, and they, in the past, they have been taking this plea that uh, 
the government is involved in massive human rights abuses a military uh, forced military recruitment conscription indefinite national service etc other uh, pleas were uh, used by rtians to uh, file asylum cases then restrictions on religious freedom to but if these rtians are involved in public display of violence and bloodshed no one will accept them that is why their asylum cases are not being rejected in european by the way in israel uh, rtians are dying on both sides brigade nahmedo people dying to pro iratin government community people dying and and iratin government iratin uh diplomats in israel they are openly supporting pro iratin government migrants even they hired some lawyers for them to protect them in uh, some legal proceedings which uh, iratin government had launched after the first episode of violence last year secondly we are ethiopia is now activating its uh, supporters in somalia uh, now it's clear that ethiopian troops part of uh, african union peacekeeping mission will have to leave somalia by the end of this year and in january egyptian troops will arrive thousands uh, gearing up to enter somalia egyptian troops ethiopian troops part of uh, Uh, deployment under bilateral arrangement in Hachabale, uh, in Jubaland, Southwest might remain deployed, but others deployed under Atmos will have to go. Egyptian troops coming now. Ethiopia obviously cannot say that it won't withdraw its troops from Somalia. It will have to withdraw its troops from Somalia. Somalia says. If Ethiopia does not withdraw from AMU with Somalia, it will have to go. But now Ethiopia is activating its supporters in Somalia in border areas. Some traditional elders, tribal elders, are holding press briefing. They say they won't let Egyptian troops enter these border areas. In Firfir, which is in Hiran zone, some traditional elders held a meeting. traditional elders of uh, hawadle held a meeting and they unanimously and openly opposed the deployment of egyptian troops they said they won't allow egyptian to, to be deployed in this area they want to live uh, peacefully they want to coexist with ethiopians and they're thankful to what ethiopian troops have been doing So this is what Ethiopia is doing now that it is activating its uh, supporters some call them proxies in Somalia so that Egyptian troops could be kept away from Ethiopian border though it's not clear where exactly will Egyptian troops be deployed in Somalia will they be deployed to just uh, Banadir Mogadishu or will they be deployed to border areas Ethiopia Somalia Somalia Ethiopia border areas that must be I have a clip for you showing the meeting of Awadli elders in Fefer. You can see what they are saying about the deployment of. They they are ready, by the way. If Somalia troops are deployed to the area, they are ready. They, they say they will welcome them, but they would not allow Egyptian troops to be in the area. Watch the clip. Thank you for watching. Why Allah had the degree? No, could not die. I know my dad and I know the Yashi. The gang. وحنان ادو القادنين ايا دغه ان كو دعداي اي كم متاي لبد دولدود ان ليسغ هركين ربو حدود صوماليا اي ايتوبيا نول بنا ديغان كو جوغا اسغا كا تليفون اسغا كا اخبارات اسغا كا ادون كو انو بب ديغان اسغا لا غربا ايتوبيا ان دغال كيدا ربين اسكهر كان ان الربن شعب دالي او اولاد كدالي او دباته كدالي ايا توغا ودن كان نبت غليو ربا دولتها نبت غليو كربا عدي دن كلو دولت ايتوبيا دن كلو انا رويد عادي هو ادو 
يينا لصو بيك سنين شعبكو ماشو او جوغا يينا لصو بيك سنين دانها اي لا دهي ايادو هاو قدوت عدي مسؤوليات اح او مسؤوليتكو صحيح حيث او مسؤوليتكو كان يسار وقدو القادم مينو مدحوينا يالي الرئيس الوسارة صحيح حي وقدو القادم مينو المها قال لنا هي دول جوك سنة عنا هو هي بقادة مين الدون كانوا شو يجينا دودي توبيا ترى طبعا كيلومتري نجرتا توبيا صدر يا أفر سنة سومالي الدولة دار مرة هذه مرة الدولة اللي هاد بواعد خنن توبيا ندري سنة نحب نوم دي مجري هذا مصر عتماء إيمان إسلامي إن كور كان الودر رمرنا شاب أنا دررنا وعيش صهرنا الدولة إن مصر توبيا لقول لا ينا هذا نروحون له أرنتاس وأكسو هرجنا عدد نقطة مدينة أنا كان هوري وركاس وهو قبني وعقبات قصة صوت الجبل كهيران قاسهان مرك هورنا نضد كين الشعب اللي كل بعدين الله دجال لمن هذا الله ربي اللي يقول الله يا نتوبي مصر دجال كذا عندنا سادة نوع بارين قلبت وعربنا هنا نسي سيرة سوى هذا هدي جلها أمريكا إيميدا وأفريقيا إسكو أفغانستان إن إذا ماذا أدمس دل كنا بدي لالنت وجو أي جبي أهم ببحان هذا إسكو أفغانستان أو أيضا كسوماليات أسكري كسوماليات لجو رجنا أمني كجذها يمكن ضعفها جذها لجو رجنا أنا وصلت وينه لكن هذا يولي إذا ماذا أدمس باهيد اللوق بي إجرتو إن جذها ودن كيسي جوجان هذا إجرتو إذا مدى الدرس كاكه القراء وركاس معدها إذا مدى الدرس كاكه القراء يو حد الله بيت إذا